What's up guys? So the day has finally come. We're out here at the lake about to test out these jet underwater jet engines. First time testing it, so no idea how it's gonna go, but uh, we're here to find out. Weird. Um, so I was supposed to go test these out in LA, but I didn't quite have time, so that's what we're doing. Um, just for those of you guys who didn't see my last video, what these are, a uh, company called Blue Robotics sent them to me. Um, they're pretty much like small, like EDF motors, but the special thing about these is they go underwater. There we go guys, we got them made. Check these things out. Um, there's also a piece on my belt that I'll show you guys in a minute. So sorry if some of that building process was unclear, but as with all my builds, I, it's a lot of trial and error. So you undo this, these come off. Five minutes later. These things go on your arm, um, and then this part will clip onto your waist or whatever. I have a belt, hopefully that works. And then there's gonna be two 6S LiPo batteries in here to power it all. And then we've got this remote by my hand. Um, when you click the button, it'll turn on the jets. But first, we gotta go jump in this water. It's gonna be chilly. Oh, it's a little cold. These two batteries kind of plug in. One of them sits this, I believe. The other one, this. Ah, there we go. Well, that doesn't seem to be good. Huh, this uh, ESC seems to be fried. It all like got really hot because inside the box that I put in, which normally wouldn't be a problem if we were actually using it in the water. Obviously the water would cool it off, but came back, felt a little bit warm, wasn't sure what was going on, so we opened it up and then the freaking speed controllers exploded. Not kidding guys, it was like a freaking smoke grenade just went off. Weird, it was like pink smoke. I don't know if any of you guys have ever messed around with like RC planes and electronics like that. Smoking a lot. I don't think this is gonna be usable at the time being. Ah. All right, I am taking a video. Dab. Nice. All right guys, round two, back. New day, new location. Uh, fixed them up and I put them inside this uh, Camelback backpack. Hopefully it'll work. My biggest concern, I think, is it's gonna leak. But uh, yeah, let's just go send it. Is that a thing to say? Is that too douchey? <laughs> oh, 
Take one, guys. Yo, it works. All right, guys, well, that's the video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, don't forget to go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. Also remember, this was my first time using these things, like actually getting them to work. I'm planning to do a lot more iterations with this in the future. So hopefully we'll be able to use them a little bit better in the future. Swim faster, obviously probably goggles would've been a good idea. Yeah, it was a little hard to see where I was going and like I was swimming blind. Um, but yeah, overall, pretty happy with how it came out. And let me tell you, these jet engines are a lot of fun. Um, so once again, huge shout out to Blue Robotics for hooking me up. Um, with the T200 model thrusters. If you're interested in uh, checking these out, I'll leave links in the description. If you wanna use these thrusters in any of your own projects, if you like making stuff like me. Also, if you wanna be updated with uh, projects that I do uh, before they come out, definitely go follow me on the Instagram, uh, link in the description, at Jayla's video, um, cause yeah, you'll be notified with uh, what's going on before the videos come out. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Obviously, subscribe if you're not already, and uh, comment down below what you guys wanna see me make in the future. Maybe some cool other stuff you wanna see me make with these thrusters that I've got over there. So yeah, once again, thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.